Alright guys and welcome back for a new little restoration project. This is a G.I. Joe Adventure Team Sea Adventurer. Picked this up off eBay. He's in pretty good shape but he does need some work. So taking a look at the figure himself. The uh, flocking is really in pretty nice shape. No uh, major bold spots or anything in the flock, so that's pretty good. A slight bit there by the chin, I think. But not much at all. So he's looking in pretty good shape. Eyebrows don't seem to have any rubs. Does have a little bit of dirt on his nose. We'll have to address that. The uniform uh, is all together. So he has all of his gear, but it's a little dirty. And it's a little rough, so I'm gonna have to work on cleaning that. Does have a patch, an original patch, and uh, gonna have to be gentle not to uh, remove that, but that may get lost in the restoration because this outfit has got some bits of staining and grime built into it. Pants uh, seem a little better shaped than the shirt. He does have his boots. They don't seem to be split, so that's pretty nice. Um, taking the shirt off. Check the rest of the figure. Really haven't checked them out since I received them today. Um, one thing I noticed, the uh, hands are definitely a little rough. Uh, seems to have all of his fingers, but... Uh, there's no more elasticity in the uh, grip. Looks like they've dried out while holding an item. So the hands are going to need to be replaced. Um, and then for the rest of the figure, uh, he seems to be pretty tightly strung. So he's not floppy. So that's, you know, one less thing I need to do. So I'll just need to uh, clean his face, change his hands, wash his outfit. And we should be pretty good to go. Also, he does have his his original uh, holster. That is cracked. Uh, and then the pistol is still there. So really nice to have the full, complete figure. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the restoration. And, uh, yep, so let's get started. All right, so I've got the figure uh, stripped down, so I uh, pulled off the clothes, we'll be washing those later. Uh, but for now, uh, I want to focus on cleaning the uh, face up a bit, because it's a little dirty. So hopefully it'll come clean pretty easily. Uh, it's not very dirty, but he's got some dirt in the nose area, as you can see. So what I'm going to use is a little bit of rubbing alcohol and some uh, Q-tips to go along with that. So let's get started with that. Don't really need a, a large amount, so I'll drain some off onto another. I'm not 100% sure if it will negatively affect the flocking, so I want to avoid doing that since it is a, looks to be original flock. And it's in pretty nice shape. Alright, so uh, simple al alcohol rub and uh, pretty much came clean. Looks a lot better, so he doesn't look like he's got a uh, brown nose, to, so to speak. So that came out pretty nicely. But uh, yeah. So next I'm going to look into seeing what I could do with these hands. I do have replacement hands. So let me see if I can get these ones off. I'm thinking I'm going to heat them up with a blow dryer to make them flexible. See if I can't work them off the peg. If not, they may need to be destroyed to be replaced. So let's see where I get with that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so that process worked. Basically, just the uh, blow dryer on a low heat setting for just a few minutes softens up the hands, makes them flexible once again. So I was able to uh, preserve them. I don't know if they'd be good for, but it's uh, better than just destroying them in my mind. So got those off the wrist pegs. And here is the replacement set. Pick these up off Cots World. And these should work really nicely. They're already flexible, but I am going to heat them up before I put them over the original wrist pegs because I don't want to risk uh, putting too much pressure and breaking these. So let's go ahead and I'll do that. All right, so I put on the new hands and I completely botched this job. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, when I went to go heat these ones up to put them on, uh, I melted them. So I left it on for too long. Uh, don't bother trying to heat up new hands. Uh, it was really soft and it just melted, unfortunately. So take that tip from me. Don't heat them up. Just use the brand new flexible hands to pop them over the wrist pegs. So that was a loss, but in the end, I uh, do got the new uh, hands on the very flexible on the pegs. So I'll just pop those into the figure. And that uh, pretty much fixes that issue. That looks really good. The skin tone looks nice. Uh, pretty close match to the original. So that's a that's definitely a nice win right there. So now that that's settled, I'm gonna go ahead and get into washing the clothes. That's the next step. So. The shirt is in the uh, worst condition, so that's it's got the grime spots into it. Uh, there is a risk I'm going to lose the patch. Uh, I'd rather keep it, but we'll just see what happens with the wash, because this just needs to be washed. Uh, if I lose it, uh, I do have replacements I can put onto it. The pants I thought were really good shape uh, until I looked at the back of them, and there is, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there's some grime along here. But because this is so dark and this is light, I am going to wash them separately. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to use, I already put some detergent into a bowl that I'm going to be able to cover. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some hot water and start washing these. All right, so I've washed the clothes. And uh, just going to go ahead and throw it in the dryer. And we'll see how that comes out. All right, so the uh, the clothes are washed and now dried. So it came out pretty clean, actually. You can see the, the grime is pretty much out of the shirt. Uh, the patch was uh, able to be saved. So it's a lot cleaner now, which is very nice. And here's the pants. So that came out pretty good. I did uh, in the meantime wash the boots. Just that's it's super simple. Just wet them down and wipe them dry. So those came out nice and clean, not dusty anymore. So I'll go ahead and get him all set up, and we'll uh, finish this up. All right. So here we are. The figure is pretty much all cleaned up and restored. So we'll start at the bottom. The boots are all cleaned up. Uniform is washed. He has brand new hands. And uh, his face is clean. So uh, pretty simple restoration. Um, of course, we learned some things along the way, at least I did. You know, we got rid of these uh, decayed, rotten hands with uh, no flexibility at all. So they've gone rock hard compared to the uh, the new hands, so that was a huge upgrade. Uh, learned uh, not to use a hairdryer for very long on the uh, replacement hands because I did ruin a pair 
and these are not the easiest hands to come by but uh, that was kind of a bummer but uh, all in all the figure is looking pretty sharp I think he looks uh, a lot better cleaner definitely ready for display looking pretty sharp did not have a sea adventure on display so it's nice to finally have one especially a vintage one in uh, this nicer sheet so I appreciate you guys uh, coming along for the ride watching as I do this uh, little restoration and uh, just gonna add one more thing just to uh, finish this guy off all right so what is a sea adventure without a parrot uh, big props out to my buddy death asylum from the sideshow freaks for sending me out this parrot he sent it out so I can restore or actually uh, build a bash of shipwreck but for now he's gonna be my sea adventures uh, parrot for the time being it's a pretty cool little uh, addition to the sea adventure really nice bird I had a lot of difficulty trying to find one when I was working on my shipwreck bash and uh, he knew that so when he seen it in the store he uh, picked it up for me uh, big thanks to you buddy for doing that but uh, as it stands the sea adventure is ready for some new adventures and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and as always until next time thanks for watching